Now this is actually a, a known one here. Look at the leaves, how they split. You don't see the berries yeah. eaten already. That is mulberry. Yeah. Young mulberry. We took some water samples. What's that? We took water samples. No, we went fishing. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got, we got a few. Right. All the other stuff in it is actually neglectable. It's this here. Yeah. yeah. It's an invasive, very bad invasive part. Yeah, it's a the thing that attached to the bottom of the boat. Yes, yes. Huh? This, this is this is actually waka moss. They are both in the same genus. They both come from the Caspian Sea in in Asia or Eurasia. They came with ballast water, right? Ships that came through the St. Lawrence all the way in the lake. And then they, they pushed their ballast water out here. That's where that was in. And you see how it overtakes, right? I mean, this, is, this is invasive, right? You have species that are foreign and they behave. They stay like every other species. But you have some that take over and that's what we typically call them. Peace ladybug. So we actually really have a huge problem with invasives worldwide. But because of uh, very relaxed uh, rules that were here and used in America for a long time. They're supposed it's to get rid of another. They're, they're oh, they want to get something that eats it. Yeah, yeah they, that is the best way to go, but they don't really. Family and the pot, right? It's like a pea pot here. So if we take a picture of that, and who has the plants? So then you try to do that out, huh? With a picture. Yep, yep. Let's just, uh, you're in the shade a little bit then. Okay, thank you. Here is O S E uh, I E R. And then here we have actually some entomological things here. We have a nice, uh, uh, I don't know whether these are pentatomidae or other bugs. Very, very interesting color, right? Should be relatively easy to determine these. See the yellow siding? Yeah. We have at least some areas where migrating birds can rest and find food. Also have uh, the uh, not rats. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, musk Just, rat. Yeah, muskrats. Just slow slow down. You see those big uh, leaves here? That's lotus, American lotus. These leaves. We will proper. Don't see the flowers um, at this time, but we see the seed pods that are very uh, decorative. That's here and the mummy, uh, North Mummy, uh, really much is even better for that. Are you calling this habitat? Um, yeah, it is, but that's oh. cool. Did you get it? No, I just Oh, did you? Oh, you might have gotten it. Checklist, you know, to count them later. Unless we see a whole flock of
Need more commentary. Huh? More commentary. <laughs> oh, as it comes. Oh, here we have to introduce the common reed, right? Common reed here, Phragmite. Uh, unfortunately, now in most cases uh, it is an invasive species. Uh, as, uh, what is it actually? Yeah, it's an invasive species that hybridize with the original one. So they, to be safe uh, and not sorry, they typically just eradicate all the reed grass now. Because it, it can take over completely. It does uh, the stolons right on the sideways and then spreads out everywhere. Reed. Reed. before as a truck. Huh? Um, it's cottonwood. With the way the leaf is shaped, but it also looks the, the, like a, how do you call it, an aspen, right? Yeah. So if you wrote aspen, I'm fine with that too. I think this is a cottonwood though. The one we had was a cottonwood. The, the, typically we always see garter snakes that didn't look like a garter. The water level here, so here is uh, one of those uh, structures uh, that you can regulate. This is also again lotus, right? American lotus here. It's a little bit uh, gone already, but I wanted to show you the sea pot. Let's actually, this is where we saw the snake last year, here in the water. Ago. So see these are uh, these are the seed pots of the uh, lotus. These conical structures. You might have seen that on a flower arrangement. Kind of decorative. Yeah, some. It seems to be a good a good uh, place to get to the water. Okay. I don't see any of the seed pots here. Maybe we are lucky somewhere else. Uh, so that's really pretty much the only thing you have in a certain depth of water, this uh, lotus here. Uh, silver maple, see that tree? Oh. has this fringed, very fringed uh, maple leaves. Get closer to the water. That's a sumac here. I'm not sure whether it is poison sumac. It's a good possibility that it is in the swamp here. Poison sumac likes to get it when I get wet. Huh? Yeah. I actually come to think of it, what I thought is a pagoda tree over there. Remember, the first stop might have actually been a leaf of the sumac. Oh, wow. this is oh no, this is a, 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 a beach. Not beach. Birch. Birch. Yeah, a right birch. Or, uh, yeah. Yellow birch. There is a yellow birch, but this doesn't look that yeah. yellowish here. But you see the shape of the yeah, leaf is typical fruit for fruit. a birch and the fruits. Oh, no. This is actually a... a yeah, this is very indicative too for ashes. See that tip, the bud there. That's uh, that shows you an ash. And kind of is in between of a hickory in shape and a walnut. The walnut has all the same kind of leaflets. The hickory has typically a one big one here, and this is an ash. That's Something for the tree guy. Uh, I think it's a, the bark looks exactly like an ant.
this is actually good for them to hide also between the locals, right? They can go hunting. It's also a single leaf of a locust reaching out a little bit. There is another egret back there. Still circling, huh? but the only one. Typically, you know your. Yeah, there are. Yeah, some are in between. Yeah. There's a. I don't know what kind of bird that is up there. Flying above. I don't know where they're at. I'm thinking. Oh, you're really sick.